Howdy guys, welcome to the video for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. My name is Vinice SGN. In this Tears of the Kingdom video guide, I'm going to show you how to get the Yiga Clan Earthquake Attack. The Yiga Clan Earthquake Attack is a ranged attack that Link can learn in Tears of the Kingdom that sends a shockwave along the ground to your locked on target and stuns them, sending them flying in the air. Getting the Earthquake Attack is one of three rewards that you can get from infiltrating the Yiga Clan hideout. Now really quickly, before I show you how to get the Earthquake Attack, please subscribe to this channel with notifications on for more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom gameplay and guides, I'd really appreciate it. Alright, so the first step to getting the Earthquake Attack is to first collect all three pieces of the Yiga Clan armor. Now if you don't yet have the Yiga Clan armor, please see my quick guide on how to get all three pieces. The link to that video will be the pinned comment of this video, as well as on the end screen and in the description of the video. Once you have all three pieces of the Yiga Clan armor, head to their Yiga Clan hideout. You can easily get there by taking the Gerudo Highland Skyview Tower and Sky Jump headed east. Once you get there, put on the Yiga Clan armor and head to the front door and gain entry. From there, head to the hallway to the right side of the main room, seen on screen, and head to the room with the Yiga Clan Blade Master who stands on top of a raised platform. Climb the ladder located on the opposite side of the room from the entrance and make your way to him. Now you're going to need at least 300 rupees to complete this part of the quest, 100 rupees for each level of training. At tier 1 you get the Yiga fabric for your paraglider after defeating 3 Yiga clan members in under 1 minute. At tier 2 you need to spend 100 more rupees to defeat 6 members in under a minute and that is where you learn the earthquake technique. Spending 100 more rupees allows you to take on 9 members at one time and if you defeat them in under a minute, you get the lightning helmet which makes Link resistant to lightning attacks. Once you have the earthquake technique, you'll need to unequip your weapon to use it. Now if this video was helpful to you in any way shape or form, I'd really appreciate your like on the video. For more, head over to my channel and browse my playlist for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. If you have any questions about this or anything else Tears of the Kingdom related, please let me know down in the comments. My name is Vinicius Sheehan, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.